Hi guys! This is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a new swatching video and also I guess a testing video. So uh, these Montmartre water soluble oil pastels, I'm going to be sort of swatching them but not like in little squares. We're just going to be testing them and see how they work with water basically. And um, I also have this set of I don't know what they're called. I call them smudgies. It's just to smudge the uh, oil pastels. All right. So we're going to test those out. And I have this set. There's 12 water brushes that I got off Amazon for $9.99. So we're going to be testing some of those out. I've already tested two of them out that don't work at all. Um, can you see here? The hair in the brush goes below the plastic. And all this does is it acts like um, like a turkey baster. When you squish it, when you push out to put out the water, like you're supposed to squeeze to let water come out, it sucks up all the color and puts it in the tube. And it does it with this one even worse. And this one, the brush is outside. The brush doesn't go below. But when you look inside, it looks like that little black stop is crooked. It's not straight in here. So two, the first two brushes that I tried from this set are horrible. You could use them as regular brushes, but you can't use them with water. Because um, as soon as you use them with water, the paint gets sucked up into the tube and it contaminates all the water on both of these. So I'm hoping the whole set is not the same way. I've just filled this one up with water to try today with the Montmartre. But in case it does then we'll just be using some of my regular paintbrushes. These are just artist love cheap paintbrushes, so it doesn't matter if they get ruined by the oil pastel so much. And hopefully I can clean them out. These are water soluble, so that means they should clean with paint, with um, water. So, and I just have my little um, book that's coming to an end. This is my Canson XL watercolor book, and I've done other swatchings in here and a little bit of art and just some practice stuff. This is not like a good book to show people. It's just my book. And I also got this off of Timu. It's a an armrest so that you can put your arm here and not smudge the paper while you're drawing. So you might see me test that out as well today. So that's it, but mostly we're going to be looking at these beautiful Montmartre water soluble oil pastel signature brand to see how they work. And this looks so much like my um, Art Echo brand ones that it really looks like the same company made them. But who knows, right? So anyway, let's um, turn these around to the color I'm using. We're not going to use every color. I just want to test these out. So let's start in order. I'm not going to do the white. We'll use the white to go over something later. And I'll just leave a little space to write the title at the top. So these feel really nice, you guys. They feel creamy, but they are, they already have more, um, little crumbs. So my Art Echo had no crumbs hardly at all. And these have quite a few crumbs. So we'll just color some of these swatches. So you can see crumbs just everywhere, like crumb city. The Art Echo didn't have these and neither did the Mungyo, but my more expensive um, Craypaw Specialist did have a lot of crumbs, so you can't go by price. These were on sale for, I think, $26.99 Canadian. All right, so that is the set, the first little package. They break them up into sets of six. So that is the first set of six. 
I won't have room to do them all and test them out. But first we're going to try um, this water brush. So these water brushes, let me just wet the edge because I've never used this one before. There's water in the reservoir and you can just squeeze it and the water should come down the tip like that. And let's see how that works and how far we could bring this down. So I don't know if I have too much water or what, but it's totally lifting the color. I mean, it is spreading it. So I guess what we could do is wet the whole thing and then go over top of it with dry later once it's dry. But it's getting all kinds of little bits of like pieces of stuff that you really wouldn't want on. Let me just grab some paper towel. All right, now let's try this next color. I might have too much water on there. I don't know. I don't know what the ideal amount of water is for these. And now keep in mind, this is the back page. This is not the good side. I find these papers have a good side and a bad side, and I'm using like the smooth side. So this might work better on another side. But I like to use both sides when I can. All right, that looks pretty good. They, they really almost turn into watercolor, which is really cool. Now let's try this brush to see if there's a difference. So I'm going to take some of the water out. Maybe a damp brush works better than a wet brush. So this brush is more damp than soaking wet. Like there's no pools of water. And can you see, it totally is um, working really well. So this brush works just as well, if not better. Let me get some backup light here. I don't know if it's bright enough. I don't have much light in my art room, unfortunately. It doesn't uh, have the window that faces the light. It has the window that faces away from where the sun is. So I only get sun in this room right as the sun is setting, unfortunately. I think I'm going to switch to this brush. I think it works better with this brush. So what I'm looking for is to see if it will dissolve the lines. And that looks really nice. So I've got more water on my brush this time because I didn't dab it off on the paper towel after I dipped it. So let's see the difference. These are really pretty colors. So this would be really nice to do a background in wet and then go over it with thicker oil pastel. What do you guys think? Now I have nothing to compare it to because I don't have any other water soluble oils. The other oil pastels, you can go over it with, like, baby oil or, like, solvents. I don't like to use solvents, though. I prefer to use water at all times. So that looks really nice. Now, that first one is almost dry. So let's go over it so we can see the difference. Dry and wet. And you see it's all crummy. There's crumbs everywhere. I'm just going to try to pick up some of these crumbs with my brush. Nope. 
because they make a big mess if they get all over the place. So, you know, these are really cool. I'm really, I think I can have a lot of fun with these because these feel like a combination of watercolor and oil pastel. All right. So we're going into the reds now. And maybe I should be doing two different colors in one thing. We can see how they mix. Because I'm going to run out of paper. So here, I'll just show you one close-up. It says Montmartre Water Soluble Oil Pastel Scarlet. But it doesn't give you an idea of whether are these are color fast or anything. And I highly doubt that they are. That's a beautiful color. What color is that? Crimson. I like that. It's more like on a pinky purple side of crimson. Here's a pinky color. And these colors make me very happy. Pink. And Cerise. They blend nicely. But I don't like all these crumbs. These crumbs are a big issue. So I was trying to decide whether to buy the Montmartre or the Mungio. Mungio also has a set of water-soluble oil pastels. But when I ordered the Mungio Gallery regular oil pastels, they just sent them like this. They, they weren't like... They just sent them in the mail. They didn't put them in packaging, and that really annoyed me. So, um... I didn't order from them. Plus, the Montmartre brand said on the Amazon, it said that this came in a tin. So I assumed the tin was inside this box. There was no tin. So it was blatantly false advertising. So um, the only good thing about these is they were $26, and they, they, they seem to dissolve really nicely. They're not that great use, using dry. So I think I would only use these to dissolve them, like for backgrounds. Like this, these colors would make a beautiful rose together, wouldn't they? Really gorgeous, vibrant colors. So I, I don't regret, I went right to the pink ones because those are my favorite colors. We still have to do these. And if you're using the water to dissolve, you can dissolve most of these little um, clumps, these crumbs. And I like this brush better than the water brush for dissolving. The water brush did an okay job. I mean, maybe I would like a flat water brush more than the round one that I was using. We could try that. Isn't that beautiful? I love these colors. So I have the water off camera. I couldn't fit everything on the camera. So... I think I have too much water here. Yeah, so the crumbs don't matter. If you use a lot of water, you can totally dissolve the crumbs. And I could go all the way down, and I could drag this color quite far, which is really nice. So now we've done two of the rows. We've done the first like little square and the second. And the next one are all the purples and then leading into blue. So we have mauve. And what color is this? I can't read that color. Can you guys see it? It's some sort of a purple. And before I add water, we should test out one of these, right? 
So these are from Timu. And I can't remember the name. They have a name. They're just like little stumps for blending. Maybe they are called blending stumps. So let me just grab one out. So there's two different kinds. There's this kind that seemed to be hollow and looks like they'd be really easy to make just by rolling paper. And the other kind that don't have these ripples on the top and they're firmer. So we'll try this one first. So if you didn't have, if you only had one set, you could use these as your only set if you don't mind the crumbs. And you could kind of push some of the crumbs in with using these blending sticks. But they're still there, so you'd have to go and grab them and take them off. And These lead to a huge mess, and they smudge all over your paper. I do not like ones that, blend, that do that. And that's how it looks when you're done. We're just going to test that one out. So I want to show you how that looks. Blend it with a stump thing. I hope you're getting enough light. I apologize about the light in my, in my art room, you guys. It sucks. I have a headlamp that I use for um, camping. I should wear my headlamp while I'm working in here. It's really bright. But I think then we get a big glare. Let's just go over this with water now. These are really fun to work with. I like it. I wasn't going to buy any more oil pastels. But I didn't even know these existed. We're at the end of the page. Let's see how far we could go over. Just for fun. So you could spread the color quite far. Way further than the edge of the page that I'm... Yeah, this is really nice. These are like having watercolors and oil pastels all in one go. And this is like the cheap brand. So I'm sure if you bought like a better brand, you wouldn't get all the crumbs. But I wanted to test them out and see if I like them. I've been buying so many art supplies. So I might have to stop talking at some point because my family's out right now. But if they come home, I'm going to have to stop recording because they argue a lot. And I don't want that on my videos. So um, I might have to just speed up and play music and come back in my room at the end and tell you about them. So if I stop talking suddenly and play music, that's what happened. So I think those are the first two purples. So now we're on to the third purple. And this purple has some blue on it. But I think that's just the paper. And this is lavender. Beautiful. I'll try to do smaller swatches. And this is purple. I call all of these purple. Okay, they're home. I have to stop talking. I knew that was going to happen.
Hi guys, so we are back. They are dry now. Um, it's the next day from when we did the swatching, but let me just show you how beautifully these dried. And this is just one layer, and I, I accidentally got some pa some paper here stuck on there, so ignore that. I wrote I wrote the names of some of the colors, but then my permanent um my permanent marker stopped working. It it just got gummed up, so I had to stop. They're little fine liners. So I stopped writing the names, but they, they dry really like velvety smooth and it's almost like they turn into a chalk pastel instead of an oil pastel. I don't know if you could see that. So it's a little bit of a chalky texture when they dry. So of course I would go over this with other layer, layers of oil color. I wouldn't just leave it like this. But I did want to show you. I don't know if my camera is picking it up. Hang on. Let me try turning on another light. Let's see if that does that help at all? If I change the color of the light. Give me a second. Let's see if that helps. Okay. So can you see the surface? I don't know if my camera is going to um, focus in. Maybe if I give it my finger to point to focus on. But these colors are just gorgeous. So I'm really happy with that. So you guys, that is the Montmartre set of water-soluble oil pastels on sale for $23. That's what I paid for them on Amazon.ca. No, $26. $26 for a set of 48. I will put a link below if you're interested. And I'm going to play around with these a lot more. Um, they were fun to play with, and they really dissolve nicely. And they don't leave any of the like the crayon scribble behind like the marker scribble you can't see them so you can see a little bit down here but yeah i'm i'm very happy with these and i'm really looking forward to playing with them i hope you like this i hope you found it interesting it was something a little bit the same like because it was another set of oil pastels swatching but they're different because they're water soluble so i think that's really cool and there's also water soluble crayons you can get that i would really like to try so i can't afford to order any more right now but i still have a lot more unboxings to do for you guys wait till you see what i bought but um yeah i have to wait for the crayons but i do want to try those too so anyway i'm still babbling thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up hit that like button Hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of those good things that help me as a channel. And most importantly of all, take care and stay safe. Happy painting, guys. Bye.